Come Thank on, everybody come in and confess your sins. Thank you, Mr. Monk, but my name's Christopher. But thanks. I'm going to cleanse all your dirty She goes, sins. yeah, I'm not dating. But you asked the question. What was the question again? Is it, oh, is it bad? Oh, she's just asking in general, is it old? Is it bad to date an older person? No, it's not. It depends on the age group, though. Because if they're too young and too old, then... Hold on a minute. Gabby said, I am 21 and he is 34. Is oh. that that one there? Oh, is that it? 21 and 34. So, what do you think of that age gap? 21 and 34. Mm. Hmm. Would you do it past the person? Why you have to ask me? I'm not coming in here to judge anybody. If the mentality is grown, uh. let the love shine bright. You know what I mean, Chris? Yeah. Oh, that is a serious one. <laughs> no, no, no. I... I because remember, women mature much faster than men. It's 35 and 55 wrong. 35, nah. 35 and 55 ain't wrong. You should be old and grown by now to know your, what you want by the time you're 35. We're not doing any Honda Heads foolishness here. Mm. You know what I mean? 35, what do you think of 35 and 55? If the love is true, <laughs> let the love bless him. You know what I mean? <laughs> Trying to be political and you know what I mean. Chris. What would you do? Would you date someone if you know, like twenty years younger? That's twenty years, you know. I really don't know, you know, Chris. Mm. In my younger days, <laughs> when I was twenty-five, I dated this girl, which was twenty-one. It was perfectly fine. Yeah, you know what I mean. But twenty-five and twenty. I said, "Don't you backtrack, me boy, and don't think of my business." <laughs> My dad's 36 and dating a 40 year old. That's nothing wrong with that. That is all right. 36 dating a 40 year old. Mm -hmm. That's not. That's that's that nothing. Is, that is all right. How about 21 and 30? That is all right. That's all right. I think. Yeah, oh you're probably probably about the same maturity, isn't it? Because men are. How was, was you? Was you? Did you? Now you look back on yourself at 30. Do you think he was intelligent then? Do you think he was clued up? I was getting to the point, I was coming to the, not the end, but you know, like, when you're younger, mm. you used to be young and dumb. Mm -hmm. But you've been, I've been for so much things. I was coming into my wise, because you have to go to trials and tribulations <laughs> to be wise. You know what I mean? When you, listen to me, Chris. I want everybody in this live to listen to the voice. <laughs> when you are young, you make as much mistakes as you possibly can. Not too bad, but you have to learn. Uh. When you learn from your mistakes, <laughs> it makes you what? Listen to me, Chris. I'm trying to have a Sunday session with the people and spit some knowledge. <laughs> when you make mistakes, you learn from them. Don't stay in your stupid self and carry on making this here mistake. That means uh, you nah no sense. <laughs> Confess your sins and cleanse your soul. Wait, what happened to the light bill? Turn on the light. Oh shit, sorry. My bad. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anyway, oh, okay. Anybody else have any confessions they want me to cleanse them with? Talk up. So you're saying make mistakes, as much mistakes as you can. Well, don't make them on purpose, but you know what I mean, Chris? You do things or you just... Mistakes creates wisdom. Of course, especially when you learn from them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? What's the best mistake you've learned? Think before you rehab. Think before you react. Yes. Mm. Don't do this impulsive foolishness. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because certain time you mm. always have to study your, your surroundings. Mm. Mm. Watch what. Don't turn on the music too low, you know, Chris. <laughs> we need the ambiance music in the background. <laughs> this is a Sunday session, <laughs> right? Always assess the situation, and then you think about it, and then you react. Uh. The most powerful people in the world know the. <laughs> Listen to me, Chris. I'm talking sensible here. Anyway, I'm not talking to you. 
I'm talking to the people, right? <laughs> the true test of strength is to know so you have the strength to mash up everything. But you have the power to reserve yourself. <laughs> you st- hear the laughing, the laughing, Jack Box, you. Shut up! <laughs> A wise man listens while the fool is talk. <laughs> you think it's joke? I'm joking, Chris. <laughs> bud, big up yourself, bud. <clears throat> Listen to me. Oh. I'm going to give an example, right? <laughs> You're minding your own business. <laughs> and somebody cut across you. Mm. They don't even say sorry. They just say, mind where you're going. Mm. Now you have the chance to shout at them. Mm-hmm. Or just say, you know what? You're not going to be in my life long enough. Mm-hmm. And go along about your business. <laughs> you know what I mean, Chris? Don't rehack. <laughs> just go along. It takes a true strength of character. <laughs> You see if I take off your hat and clap you in your head, but boy, don't test me today upon your Sunday session. I'm trying to teach the people about reserve the hunger. <laughs> so it says past the first is from first is Sunday session. Right? Control your emotions. Control your temper. Be cool like the summer breeze. You know what I mean? You stay the laughing, man. <laughs> Make me want to watch the little mermaid. Hurry up, get back in the sea, you little. Anyway, don't start me half already. Behave yourself. Uh, you meant to be past the person. Ah, yes, man. <laughs> I will tell you about your trials and tribulations. Uh, Anybody have any confessions? Talk now or forever. Hold your peace. Uncle Percy speaks from his heart. Don't laugh, Chris. Thank you very much, Flo. You know what I mean? Everybody in this life is a king and queen in them own right. No. What do you mean? Some people, you just got waste men. They can't be kings. We need to stop throwing that word out easy. All right. Well, 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 one king. All right, well, let me just... And the king's body news are waste men. Well, if there's any waste men or any waste woman in here, Put up your hand and cleanse your soul. Pastor Percy is going to say a little prayer for you. Everybody, close your dirty hide them. <laughs> oh, the big creator <laughs> of everything. Cheers the pestilence out of this dirty heart. Them. Shut him out, Chris, before chopping at your throat. Wait, you can't be a pastor. I said, shut up, I'm pastor person. I can't say whatever I want to, right? Anyway, give me this strength to chase out the dirty demons out of the pestilence them and let the love light shine through. Everybody go back to their house and skin out and make sweet love. I mean, hold hands and say, shut up, get slip out. <laughs> Let me start again, Chris. Everybody, do not let bad mind overflow your heart. Christopher Savage, can you please take this Sunday session service seriously? You have to better call Hantaloop. Come on. This is the first time we're doing a live in a long time. We don't want to get banded. Oh. Anyway. Oh, God. And we don't say amen. We say, hey, woman. Can I get a hey, woman? Why? I don't deal with man. I deal with woman. <laughs> in the name of the creator, hey, woman. <laughs> Welcome to Percy's Sunday service, Arthur Percy. <laughs> We're not going to get banned to the <laughs> Can I get a here, woman? What's <laughs> the matter with you? I get it. Oh, 
You Jamaicans, you know. You always got to reverse things because it might sound a little bit too zesty. Listen to oh, me. Oh, God. Yeah, see there? Memphis, hair woman. That's hair woman. That's what I'm talking about. Hair woman. <laughs> Joel, hey woman. Make sure you put a H with brackets in front of the W. You know what I mean? <laughs> Show me in. Hey woman. See, they were um. going to change your and everything now. <laughs> if you see two people fighting in the street, mind your business and leave them for fight. That's true. You know what I mean? Why are you going to stop them and get yourself tapping on your head? Leave them! <laughs> what type of pastor is Mind your business. <laughs> what if it was what if it was a poor young person and they were getting hit by a grown-up then? Well, what you have to do, right? <laughs> Find the circumstances of what is going on. <laughs> so they, I thought you just said mind your own Listen business. Listen to me, Chris. Sometimes you feel mind your business. Sometimes you feel intervene. But know what the circumstances is. Right? Cleanse your soul. <laughs> but the only way you can Shut find out. Shut up your mouth, Chris, and listen to part of Percy talking. <laughs> right? <laughs> if you see a wood elderly person trying to cross the road, hold their hand and cross them over and don't hesitate yet. I'm going to cleanse your soul. If you see your brothers and sisters doing good in life, praise them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh. If you see them a show off, tell them to shut up. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's go into the comment community. <laughs> Verse <it's> chapter five. <laughs> Can everybody turn your page to? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're going to get banned today, you know. Hurry up, who put up your book, you damn fish, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a hair, woman? You damn wretch, yo. <laughs> oh. oh, God. This chapter is called Nobody Must Do a Good Deed. You want to know why? <laughs> no good deed goes unpunished. Hey, woman! <laughs> Chris, shut your gums and listen to me. <laughs> Have you never heard that? No, wait, hold on a minute, Chris. <laughs> listen to me carefully. Have you ever heard of that saying, no good deed goes unpunished? Yeah, but you said hey, woman. <laughs> I keep forgetting that. It's a, it's You're not that. saying no hey, man. Me say hey, woman. <laughs> This is Pastor Percy's Sunday session. Shut up your mouth. <laughs> and yes, I'm a pastor. I will tell everybody, shut up. <laughs> Can I get a hey woman? <laughs> Chris, hey woman, no man. What's hey up? woman. Thank you very much. Hey woman. <laughs> Later on tonight. <laughs> As a matter of fact, let me just... Don't stop. <laughs> I can't pass the first thing you have things to say. Go on. <laughs> Go on, pass the first thing. Cleanse your swirl. Yeah, up to the light. <sighs> All right. So listen. If you've seen our Rated 18 podcast, put a thumbs up. It's got me, Uncle Percy and Kane Brown in it. Within a month, We've got almost over 15,000 followers on Instagram. We've got 6,000 followers on our TikTok. Almost 10,000 followers on our YouTube. 40 plus thousand views on our first video. Comments flying off. And we're, we're actually increasing our patrons. And tell me what you guys think of it. Because the comments we've had are so sick. Everyone's just saying it's the best podcast they've seen in a while. It's a breath of fresh air. We're just... We're just on one. Can I get a hey woman for the podcast? Hey woman. Thank you very much. Hey woman. Uh, See? Big up everybody over there. We're Let's... not saying hey man. We're going to say hey woman. <laughs> and this is why we're going to say hey woman. You have to love and cherish the ladies there. You know what I mean, Chris? Okay. The good, the bad, and the pretty. 
Lester Drive says podcast is too funny. Big up Lester Drive for watching. Yeah, sorry, gone. Right? <laughs> They're going to worship and love the human life back in my days. Put up your hand and say, hey, human. And shut up. And the podcast name is Danny is called Rated 18 Podcast. It's on YouTube, it's on Instagram, it's flying around. We got over two million, we got million view on one of our posts that we post up about it. We got two another video on million views. It's just my followers have gone up by twenty thousand now as well. Like the poll this is gone in with things. Can I just say something? Mm -hmm. The real superstars of the show is the crowd. The fans, of the course. community, mm -hmm. it's you lot. Because mm -hmm. I'm telling you from now, if it wasn't for you lot, we would not be doing it. It's true. You know you're what right, I mean? You're right. You're right. Can I get a hair, woman? <laughs> damn wretch, yo. <laughs> damn. So slide over to our YouTube rated 18 podcast so you can watch. We got four episodes up there. Tomorrow we're putting out another one. But the Patreon followers who get a longer version, they get an hour extra. They get. Um, first dib So they watch it on Sunday And it's only £2 To sign up YouTube is free But you won't get The full video well, And cats it Are we on Spotify? <clears throat> Do you know what? I've put it on Spotify But I can't find it yet And you have to find it To get it So I don't know It might be configuring something But I'm going to try something else So hopefully by the end of this week It will be out on Spotify as well Big up yourself Patrick Me see, me know, see what you do But you can get the audio You can listen to it on YouTube Audio wise anyway So yeah so yeah, sorry, we're back in, Pastor Percy. Welcome back to the Sunday sessions with Pastor Percy. Earlier on this week, I had a friend, right? Mm -hmm. And he asked me, Percy, I have this lovely lady, mm -hmm. right? Very curvaceous. Mm -hmm. But she's talking a lot of naughtiness. You know what I mean? You ever meet a woman? Mm -hmm. Where she just, I'm trying to say something which is not too naughty. Just dip on it like a rabbit. Mm, so she's they like, don't do nothing yet. Them just a deer. You know she's what I mean? She's just a rabbit. She's just on it. She's been saying, she's met men that give it all the big talk and this and that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear no rubbish from you and all this crap. Mm -hmm. But him just a listen. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He don't know how to take her. Mm, you know what I mean? Yeah. So he said to Percy, what should I do? Mm. I said, Alphonsus, bring her to your house and whisper in as she hears softly, make sure you get the message. Wait till I Chris. Skidip, skidip, skidip. Captain of my ship, coming to my house. And to, Listen to me. You don't shut up your mouth. <laughs> What? <laughs> he come out bloody hand. <laughs> <laughs> Make me start it again. <laughs> I need to clear me through it. <sighs> I said, Winston, <coughs> when you bring her back to your house, <laughs> you just tell her this. Watch it. Skidip, skidip, skidip. I am the captain of my ship. When you come into my house, you better take off your shit. I don't want you to rub your shit up there. <laughs> Can I get a here, woman? <laughs> that was sick, you know? <laughs> that spun me. That was sick. <laughs> skidip, skidip, skidip. <laughs> you like that one, didn't it? Oh, that was a good one. Let me start it again. <laughs> You're whispering as she hears. I said, lady, I'm not mocking about with you. When you're coming to my house, watch it, boy, girl. <laughs> Skidip, 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 I am the captain of this ship. When you come into my house, I don't want to hear your shit. Take off your bra and your neck as well. Quit. Open up your leg. I'm going to rub off your cheek and make you come. You shut up. You're not here. What are you doing? You don't know some part of Prince of Lyrics. Yeah, that's sick. You skidip, skidip. Listen to me. Anyway, part of Prince on Sunday sessions. Can I, I get a hey woman? Can I get a hey woman for that skinny hip? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. That's sick. Skinny hip, skinny hip, skinny hip. 
come to my ship. You know what hey. you say? I like that one. Get yeah, it, it, get it, get it. I am putting that up. That's sick. You man. like that one? Yeah, yeah I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ski dip, ski dip, ski dip. I am the captain no, of my ship. ship. And when you're coming to my room, I don't want to hear your shit. <laughs> Take off your bra and your knick as well. Quick, cheese. Who open up your leg? I'm going to rub up your. Yeah. Hey. I'll make you come quick. Hey. Shut up, you shit. Hey. If you tell me no, you better skidip, 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 skidip. <laughs> Welcome to part of the party from the session. Yeah. Hurry all. Shut up. <laughs> Bad, 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 bad. Hey, who man? Hey, this car's fogging up. Lord of God, that's why it gets hot in here. <laughs> Welcome to Ooh. the Sunday session. That was sick. Yeah. After Percy. See, man saying, hey, who man? They're getting into the floor of it. Mm -hmm. Hey, who man? <laughs> <laughs> You're a true fool, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I choose I don't eat no food on Sunday yet. I'm I know, hungry. I'm hungry as well, you know. Oh, everybody like it. Thank you very much. I just something to me just weird. You have to turn on the heat. Definitely. Yeah, turn it on, sir. Oh, no, I was just trying to fuck Real up. Real come again, sweet face, Mel. That Big was up sick. yourself. Oh, man. That was so sick. I hope you help him out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That was the whole story, <laughs> <I> innit? <laughs> but I'm not going to like this. Yeah. You see, because I have a lot of female friends, mm. and a lot of them say the same thing already. Mm hmm. Why do these men chat so much rubbish? Mm. I said, listen to me, woman. Take a seat in the altar and I'm going to talk to you right now. <laughs> Some man out there believe that they are better than they actually are, right? Mm -hmm. And true. you get some woman who are actually really bad. Yeah. Come into me garden of Eden and I will show you. Skidip, skidip, skidip. <laughs> How does it go? <laughs> well, I'm in it. That's my favorite bit. Well, <laughs> well on. Hey, how does it go? Keep it clean, Chris. <laughs> Let's get back to the Sunday session. Everybody, hold your hand and close your eyes. <laughs> <coughs> Whoa. We don't want to get this, um... Oh, that you was so that sick. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, God. You know something? And I'm going to tell you lot something as well, right? Uh, you see, life, mm -hmm. you have to listen to the life. Mm -hmm. And I mean the beat of it. Mm. If you think back to your early days when there was a little pipsqueak, and you really think... How the hell did I get to this stage right now? You know what I mean? Mm. Live your life. Don't you stress. Have plenty hanky-panky. Eat good food. <laughs> Laugh your belly half. But not too much like this jam jackass, Chris. I don't know what's the matter with him. You know what I mean, Chris? <sighs> uh. I'm going to test people's memories. Mm. Who knows this song? <laughs> Everybody skin out! Uh, I'm going to see who's the first one to know this song. Hold on. Naughty boy! Wait! N what? 
what everybody know this you know, damn whole foot how you just see them whole <laughs> that is real hey, everybody <laughs> hurry up go sit down Just about, just about. God, I probably mm. was watching repeats of it, but I don't think I got the first version. No. no, man, this is a serious thing, right? <sighs> you have to reflect on life. We've come a long way, you know, Chris. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's true. You have to know where you're coming from mm -hmm. to know where you're going and remember where you are right now. Imagine as well, even here in general, man just started with a camera. This is what I mean. You come and check me. You ask a question for you or something. Oh the my. next day you come and say about the people that want to hear my voice again. And look where we are That's years true. later on. And that was on Instagram, innit? We used to just do the storylines and people will always inbox me saying, now nah, we're here to hear that. You know what I mean? And then I put out that one post by the ZZ Mills, which she was talking about, about eating, you know. No, I don't want I'm to I'm not going to talk about, about it. Mm -hmm. And that just went viral, viral. So, yeah, man. Well, and you know, Sammy Rose said, up, Biker Grove was the best. Biker. Biker, Biker Grove. That's with Ant and Deck, innit? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, this is sick, man. What a thing. Big well, up, we up. don't get banned, so we must be going good. I know. Big up, Ginger Nutters. Um, all right, so one more thing and then we shoot. Come all on, right, let's, go. let's pay attention to the comment community because it's all about you. Big up yourself. All right. Respect and guidance and protection from the you know what I mean? From a heart. One more, one more question from the comment community. Has anybody got a question or want to confess your sins? We should call them what? The um the, the Garden of Edens or the Persians. That's the <laughs> comment community. All right. He's asking it. Rated 18 on Patreon was funny. ASF. Big up, big up the Patreon follow, follow Akai. That was the new episode today, right? I know it was sick. There was so much liners in there, bro. It's sick. It's a sick. It's a sick podcast. You lot get down and watch it, man. Ray today in podcast. Me, Uncle Percy Kane. You won't. You will not be disappointed. You lot think this is funny, which it is. Ray today in is on the same level. Telling you. So yes. Well, I see a few quick questions. Mm -hmm. What does Uncle Percy think about young love? Young love. Young love is beautiful. Plant the seed and watch it grow. Young love is means young, dumb and fuller. Oh, shop your mom, make the people them learn, man. It's good because if you learn early, you won't be surprised later on in life. I think people that don't know and are in La La Land that fall in love later on in life at 30 or whatever and then they break up, they act still like they were 15 because it's their first time ever. Uncle Perth, what, what did you I say was again? quite fortunate enough to have it at early age. What does per Pastor Percy think about witchcraft? If you don't overstand it, stay away from here, whether you use a witch or a warlock. <laughs> All right, Pastor Percy, what is it? <laughs> What's Uncle Do Percy's you... favorite Jamaican dish? <laughs> that is too hard, me like the whole of them, witch... apart from pork. I don't... I'm going back to witchcraft, yeah? <laughs> So you say witchcraft, you say stay away from it, yeah? Do you know any witchcraft or do you know what, do you believe in it? All right, let me tell it's you. It's Halloween. Though. Remember we was going to do a Halloween special? When is Halloween? We have to do a Halloween special and chase out the demons and the dirty crosses. To the crosses that could be next week. And next week, Halloween? Mm, 28th, 29th. Well, we have to put a special Sunday service on for that. Mm-hmm. Because I have to say something. Okay. Anywhere. Okay. Witchcraft, mm -hmm. do you let me turn this music up because you don't need to listen to what I'm talking about, right? Do you know you have to be careful when people talk to you because they can cast a spell with words? 
So says Pastor Percy. Can I have an example? I'll give you an example, right? Have you ever had a friend? We're talking about, for instance, jail. Mm. They always say, you see when you go to jail? You see when you go to jail? Who say you want to go to jail? Shut up your mouth. Talk and say when people go to jail. Don't tell me about you. <laughs> so wait. you have to be careful when people talk certain things. Wait, wait, wait. So you think that by them saying you means that they could be almost putting in your brain that you're going there to jail. There are some evil spirits lurking in the shadows, Chris. <laughs> some of them are your friend. Some of them are your enemy. Careful when people talking things to you. You know what I mean? There's a saying. Keep your friends close. And your enemies... Fire away! I don't give a shit what anybody say. Oh, keep the enemies closer. You're not coming nowhere near me. Get out of here. <laughs> no, think about it, Chris. <laughs> right? <laughs> that same must have been made up by a enemy. No. <laughs> listen to me. Listen to the logic, right? Keep your friends close <laughs> and your enemies closer. What kind of puppycock is that? Because what they mean is... All right, if come you, on, test me today. I'm going to tell you something. Go on. All right. With your enemies being really close to you, you can watch what they're going to do before you, before they get you. You see what I mean? If you know someone, if you know someone really well, yeah, and you know that this guy could be your enemy, you still could talk to him, but know what they're like. You know when you can read someone before they can, 10 steps ahead of someone? So if you had that person close to you, you'd be able to read that person 10 steps ahead of you say, I know what you're going to do, you little jankro. Yeah? You're going to be like, I know what you're going to do. You finish? Yeah. That is a load of puppycock like I just said. Why? Listen to the logic now, Chris. Go on. If you keep your enemies far away, don't show them nothing what you're doing, what can they do? Don't show them your business. Don't show them your move. Don't even make them know you're nothing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. How the hell they can't do you something? You but, know what I mean? But, if you make your enemies know everything about you, they can damage you. They can get you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> can I get a hair woman? No. Don't give away a hair woman. Because shut up your mouth. <laughs> You keep your enemies far away. Lock them off. So says part of persons. The dirty crosses them. Shut up. <laughs> keep your cars no. close to your chest and nobody can tell you nothing. Well, let me explain something. Why is it that because they're close to you, you have to tell them everything? But that's what they mean. Keep no. your enemies close. close. Close, exactly. So I don't want you nowhere near me. Go over there. No. But Skinny, what go they over mean? there. <laughs> No, what they mean by that is if they're close to you, you don't have to tell them what you're on. You lie. You say, if a man, if you, if you know your enemy's right next to you, yeah? And let's say you got a big deal coming up tomorrow and you know he's your enemy, but he's close to you, innit? And he says, oh, what you want tomorrow? You say, oh, I'm just going shopping with my mum. What are you doing? Your enemy reveals everything he's doing, but you don't have to reveal everything you're doing. How about I just lock you half? <laughs> True. <laughs> you just waste one bag of oxygen, one bag of crap, and all you have to do is just lock them off. You know what I mean, Chris? You're talking about don't say this and don't say that. Listen to me, Chris. This is what the enemies forget. Don't tell them shit. Don't know, make them know your whereabouts. Don't even answer your phone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't even reply. <coughs> As a matter of fact, change your phone. <coughs> Come off of my line. And this is what you get. Delete their names from your phone. You Listen have to, to the Change their names. You change their name to don't answer one. What? Don't answer two. Again. Don't answer three. What say? Don't answer four. What? Don't answer five. Shut up! Don't answer six. You can call as much as you like and I heart you your shit. Oh, no, don't tell me not having nothing at all. Listen to me, people. Let your spirit cleanse your soul. 
don't have no <laughs> negative energy around you. Don't no, listen to that foolishness. This is Pastor Percy's Sunday sessions. Can I get a hair, woman? <laughs> All right, okay, peeps. We're going to shoot now, man. We're hungry. So before I go again, if you want more Uncle Percy, myself, Kane Brown, we got our podcast, Rated 18. We're on episode four. It's on YouTube, Rated 18 podcast. Type that up. We've got serious high views everywhere. It's been going viral everywhere. People are putting it up on their WhatsApp, everything. So be a part of the, we call it in the ratings. Mm. Be a part of the rating squad. We've got pff, quite a lot of patrons already within a week. We've got a lot of followers on YouTube. 9,000 followers already in just a month today. We've got 15,000 followers on Instagram just a month today. It's all just grown quick, massive. So thank you all for signing up um, or just subscribing and supporting the thing. Someone you here wrote already that the, the new episode today out on Patreon was sick, so... But well, hold on a minute. Put up your hand if you've watched the podcast. I want to see something. Yeah, put up your hand.